Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and today we're going to be taking a look at a fairly new mod on the scene, Sucratax Oceans. Sucratax Oceans, if you guys haven't seen it before, is an amazing mod that completely reworks how the sea works in Civ 6. It's a fairly simple and straightforward mod with some very subtle effects, but it really enhances how much is going on with regards to the economic side of a seagoing empire. If you're new to the channel, I would ask you to go ahead and subscribe. And if there's a mod you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comments. Enough shameless self-promotion, let's get on to the video. The first big feature of the mod is the addition of a new type of coastal feature called the Kelp Forest, which grows in coastal waters next to land, but it never appears next to reefs. They give additional food to your coastal tiles while proving to be difficult terrain for units passing through. They can also be harvested by builders in order to provide an immediate food bonus, which could be useful for hitting growth milestones. I think that these kelp forests are really cool and the models look amazing. It really adds a lot of atmosphere to your coastal cities and if you're like me and you like taking screenshots of your empire with the UI turned off, it adds a certain charm to coastal cities that I feel like was missing before. The second major feature of Sucratax Oceans is adding some new resources to the coastal tiles in your games. You'll be able to find two new bonus resources and three new luxury resources when you activate this game mode. Seals are the first new bonus resource that provide plus one production to their tile and like all new resources they can be improved by fishing boats using a builder. They can appear on coast and kelp tiles. Seals can also be harvested to provide an immediate production boost which opens up some new strategies for possibly chopping out some important infrastructure in coastal cities. Plus the models look really cool and there's something really satisfying about getting production from coastal resources. We've also got the squid which is a more rare bonus resource that provides plus one food and plus one gold to their tile. They can only spawn on coast, kelp or reef and they are a bit more rare as I said. However, when you do find them they are going to be incredible tiles since they essentially double the baseline yield of a coastal tile before a fishing boat has even been built. That covers the bonus resources and next up we've got our first new luxury resource, caviar. Caviar breaks the mold a little bit from the other resources that we're going to be having a look at in that it only spawns on lake tiles. However, it does provide a very nice plus three gold bonus to its tile and tends to spawn in clusters thanks to some reworking of the distribution of water-based resources and features so you'll be able to trade off your excess caviar for even more gold to other players. Coral is another new luxury that only spawns in reefs and provides plus one faith. It's basically the faith version of turtles since turtles only spawn on reefs and they provide science. Because of that you're less likely to see as many coral spawns in your game so it might be an easier resource to get a monopoly on if you are playing with the corporations and monopolies mode. The last new luxury resource to be added to the mod are lobsters. They provide plus one science and they can spawn on coast, kelp or reef. And to be honest, sometimes I look at these giant boys and I wonder if they're going to start marching up the coastline to take out my cities. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like these games get the scale of like the resources off. Like honestly, look at that horse. It's like the size of a house. Now that covers all of the new resources, but it doesn't cover the biggest change to the luxury resources on coast, which will now spawn in clusters and be assigned to specific continents instead of being distributed across the entire map. This means you're more likely to see regional differences in what luxuries are available on the coastline, which will open up options for trading between players. No longer will you see pearls scattered outside every continent. And personally, I like this a lot because it makes coastal luxuries behave a little bit more like land luxuries, which if you didn't know, uh, it's only possible for four unique types of luxuries to spawn on each land continent. So you control the continent and you control the spice. Just be sure not to anger the sandworm. God, I just cannot wait for the Dune movie to come out. The last major feature of this mod are some balance changes to coastal improvements and the water park. The fishery improvement, which is granted by Liang at Aquaculture, now gives adjacent fishing boats plus two food as a baseline, alongside a full unit of housing per fishery in the city. If Liang is established in the city, fisheries will also grow grant an extra plus one production to adjacent fishing boat tiles. However, the fishery itself can't be worked by cities, so you are giving up a workable tile. Next up, I want to talk about water parks, which have been given some cool 
cool tweaks as well. If you build them adjacent to the new kelp forest, they'll provide you with an extra amenity. And their tier two building, the aquarium, has also been changed to give plus one science to kelp forests, reefs, and shipwrecks. And that bonus is doubled if those features are adjacent to the water park. So if you look at the maximize your science gain in your coastal cities, careful placement of your water park is going to play a major role. Add to the fact that the aquatic center is now much more reliable for generating tourism, thanks to the fact that it generates tourism from adjacent coastal features instead of coastal wonders in the city. And you'll have a very solid buff to water cities for amenities, late game science and tourism. And that about covers all of the features of the mod it's an incredibly good addition to the base game because it doesn't feel like it oversteps its bounds it takes the baseline features of the game and expands them a little bit making them have a few extra interactions in a way that doesn't feel like it completely takes over the gameplay at the very least it makes coastal gameplay more varied and adds some interesting choices for players who usually shy away from building harbors and water parks so maybe you'll be more willing to dip your toe in the water Although again, having seen the size of those lobsters, I don't blame you if you don't. If you want to get the mod, you can find it on the Steam Workshop by searching for Sucretact's Oceans, or you can find the link in the description of this video. Sucretact is a great modder who makes some super useful and fun mods, so make sure you consider checking him out and giving him a follow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, rub your greasy gamer fingers on the like button, and if you're feeling generous, press the join button to become a member of the channel for exclusive bonuses, like a special icon beside your name when you comment on my videos. You can also comment below with your opinions on this mod in this video and which mods you'd like to see me cover in the future because yes doing all of those things helps my channel and I do in fact read the comments of my videos obsessively because that's where the entirety of my self-esteem comes from. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time.